All right, so we are back in our awesome project of Doom, and uh, some of you guys were asking how to make like a jump script where the guy just doesn't fly off into space, where he actually has a, a set height, or um, you can control better how high he jumps and things like this. So I'm going to show you one way of doing this. Uh, so we're going to go back into our movement script, and right now uh, this is going to be checking every update, which, so every frame. If you're holding the button jump, um, it's going to add force upwards. Um, instead, what we're going to do is instead of adding force to our guy, you know, kind of like a rocket adds force to the rocket, or our, I guess the exhaust adds force to the, the rocket, we're going to immediately set him on an upward trajectory. Um, so this will start to look a little bit more like how they do jumping in video games. And the way we do this is we say, instead of add force, we're going to say transform.rigidbody.velocity equals vector3 up times jump force. So what this should do is, and instead of using get button, because get button fires every frame, we're going to say get button down. So every time the button goes down, which so if you hold the button down, it's not going to do anything. Um, it's only when you first press it down, it's going to set your guy's velocity uh, upwards by jump force. So let's see what this looks like. Save it, go back to the scene, and here's our dude. Let's see what happens. So jump. Okay, so I'm holding it down right now, and as you can see, he's starting to come down. Um, so maybe what we should change is his jump force. His jump force is 50, let's make it 0 0.2. Let's see, that might not be enough, but, but when I press space bar, that's my jump button, he's gonna immediately, uh, okay, so that's not enough force. Let's tweak it right now, 10, let's try that. Ah, but he can, he can keep jumping. Interesting. So what we're gonna have to do is create a new variable. So let's go back to our movement script. Let's create a variable up here called jump enabled. And it's going to be a boolean, so a true or false statement. And now we're going to use collisions. So we're going to check whether or not it collides with the ground or with another object. And if it has, then you're going to be able to jump. So um, to show you what this function does, let's go back and zoom in on our dude. You can see right here, there's this green box. If that's his collider, or his box collider, which you can see over here in the component menu. And if you change like the Z axis, the, you know, the box gets bigger. You can change the, this, where it is in relation to your guy. So if for whatever reason you want it to be not on your guy, you can do that. And as you see, if I lift him up a little bit and, uh, whoops. What's going on? Well, I guess that scene's doing that. Um, let's press play. And you can see I'm not actually on the ground because I am well, actually here. Should be able to see me moving. Ah! See my, my dude? No, you can't see it. There you go. I'm not actually on the ground. Um, I'm floating a little bit above it, which is silly. So anyways, that's what a collider does. And uh, let's reset that because I don't want my collider, my guy's collider to be that big. So one, 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 good to go. I'm gonna change my layout, two by three. There we go, perfect. Go back to mono develop and let's use this, uh, let's use function on collision enter. So that is, the built-in function for controlling collisions and stuff like that. And we don't have to give it any parameters yet because we're just going to say if it collides with anything. And if it does collide with anything, then we're going to set jump enabled equal to true. So this fires. This function is called every time that little green box around your dude touches anything. Um, and if it does touch something, it's going to enable you to jump.
But what we're going to go up here and say, if you press the jump button, we're going to say jump enable is equal to false. So if you jump, you can't jump because you're probably going to be in the air. But when you come down and you touch something, you're, you, you can jump then off of that. So let's see if that works. Um, all right, so boom. Hmm, interesting. Oh, that's because my jump force is too low. So he never got off the ground. Um, so you can see down here, I touch the ground, jump enabled is equal to true. And if I pr press jump, it turns off. Watch spacebar, it's off. Come back down, it turns back on. So I can't. Oh, so I didn't put a if statement there. <laughs> so I have to say, if input that get button down jump is equal to true. So if I press the jump button and so two ampersands, that's what those things are called. And we're going to add a different condition and jump enabled is equal to equal signs for comparison true. Then you can do this. So if you've pressed the jump button, so this statement's true, and your jump enabled is equal to true, so that's true, then you can do all this cool stuff in here. Um, but if one of these is false, like you're not pressing the button or this is equal to false, then it's not going to be able to run this. Um, so as you can see here, a single equal sign is to set something equal to something else. Double equal sign is to compare. Is this the same as that? And to add statements, you can say that. So let's save that. And now it should work better. All right, so now I should not be able to keep going. Yeah, there we go. So I can only jump when I hit the ground. So you can tweak around with uh, the, the, you know, your jump force and stuff like that. Let's, like if we set it to 100, boom, your guy is like Superman. But as you can see, like he doesn't come down very quickly, right? He, it's like he's on the moon. So what we're gonna do instead is set the gravity a little bit higher. So go to pro edit, project settings, physics. And right now gravity will just apply a force of negative 9.81 to your guy. So you can change that, make it like negative 20, let's say. And now let's try it. Now the gravity takes effect a lot quicker. Boom, boom. So even if I set my dude's jump force to 100, he'll fly up, but he'll also come down quicker because there's more force coming down on him. So if you want to control jumping better and kind of how that interacts, um, then just you can use gravity or you can just change your jump force. But uh, yeah, anyways, hope that helped figuring out how to control your guys jumping. Um, and yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for all the nice comments and send me a message or put in the comments something you want to see uh, in the future or something else you want to know. And yeah, take it easy. Good luck.